Ever wonder how to get those smiling, sad and frowning faces in your completed notifications in Autotask? Did you know that they are actually built into the product and can easily be added without using any third party software? Hi, my name is Chris Tim from Sandella Consulting. In this video, I will show you exactly how to get these added with one line in your notification template. So sit back and enjoy the show. If you like this video and you'd like to see some more, please consider subscribing to this channel for more great content. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by sending an email to our support desk as any customer normally would. So let's just say, you know, for example, in this case, uh, Outlook not working. And then, um, you know, something like, so we're gonna say that Outlook does not work. What we would be expect to happen at this point is a ticket will eventually be created in order task. We will then go into all the task, close that ticket, and what we expect to find when we close the ticket is something along the lines of this, where we can see, you know, either a happy face or sad face. Okay, so we can see that the ticket is now being created. So when we go back into all the task, we will see here is the ticket that was created today. So just the standard ticket as as anything else, and I'm just going to go in and open up this ticket, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some, um, a closed notification to it. So let's say we fix this ticket and now we can just say, um, you know, Outlook working, all set for example. Now what this will do is give you the ability to say, when I complete this ticket, this will send a closed notification to the customer, just add some time to it. This will send a closed notification ticket or completed ticket notification to the customer, which will then automatically um, go ahead and um, and send them a link to a customer satisfaction survey. So let's just wait a couple of seconds and we should get that email coming in. This, this process doesn't take too long to get that in. And there you can see your ticket is complete. So now when the ticket is complete, what we can see in here is we can see this link here, which is our customer satisfaction survey. So let's go ahead and say that, you know, that, that the work was bad. So in here we can say, uh, you know, bad work uh, was very slow for example, and then we simply submit. Now what this will do in terms of Autotask is it will go in and update that ticket so you can now see that we now have three unhappy customers. And what we're gonna do at this point is when we go in and we have a look at this Outlook not working, for example, and we click into here, we'll actually see there's a little sad face and that little sad face appears here. And we can now see, you know, what the current rating is and, and what the thermometer temperature is. So the thermometer temperature at this point is minus one, which means it's bad. And we can also see what the response was that was sent us um, back from the customer. Okay, so let's say now we, you know, we, we reopen this ticket and now we're gonna get the customer to, um, we're gonna do whatever it is to fix the problem. And then we're gonna go back in and, and reclose the ticket again. So at this point, we can now say, um, you know, let's change this to actually in progress, save it. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add some more um, uh, closed notifications to this. So let's go and do this. So let's say it's completed again. And then in here, again, we'll send the closed notification to the customer. Let's make this one five minutes. So what this is now gonna do is it's gonna go back and send the customer another email. So 
when we now go back and we have a look at the next email. Now we can go in and say the service was good and we can simply go and simply all we're going to do is say it was great feedback this time. So when we now go and have a look at this ticket, and we look at the service thermometer rating at this point, what we're going to get is something completely different. So now you can see, um, you know, the customer's happy now, and the previous rating is they were sad, and we get both of those. So we now get to see, uh, you know, where, where they were unhappy about something, and what the feedback was on that, and also, you know, when the customer is happy, we get the information on there as well. So this is actually very simple to set up. It's one line that you need to put into your closed notifications, and it's one thing that you need to basically add into your insights panel. So let's go and have a look at how we would do this. So the very first thing we do is we go into our workflow rules and we look for our closed notification. So in here, if we just say, you know, notify customer of completed tickets. So here we go. Edit this rule. And then from here under the notification tab, if we're going to have a look inside this complete notification email that we're sending, there is simply one line in here, which is the ticket service thermometer link, good to bad. Now this is built into Autotask. There is no third party software involved at this point. All it is, is a variable from here um, under the uh, ticket variables that I'm just pulling in and putting into the closed notification. So if we come all the way down, um, it's going to be some way down in here. There you go. A service thermometer link good to bad. And all you simply do is position it where you want this to be. Double click on it. And it puts that link into your email. And that's it. It really is as simple as that. What we can then do is if we go and look at that particular ticket category, which in this case uh, is, I think it's our consulting services. Yes, yeah, so it's our consulting services ticket category. So what we can simply do in here is underneath our ticket category screen, we go into the service desk tickets and then go into ticket categories. Then from our consulting services, all you very simply need to do is under your insights tab, uh, you need to take one of these insights and here you can see the service thermometer one, which will be down here somewhere. Um, so all you need to do is drag it to wherever you want it to be. Um, and it will appear up in here. Okay, and if it then becomes a visible one, in fact, I can just drag this to the top if I wanted to. And now you can see it also says always display when empty. And all that will happen if I now go ahead and look at this ticket. I've actually just moved it to the top, which is probably a better place for it to be. Uh, it just makes it so much easier to see. Okay, come all the way to the top. And there's our service thermometer rating. And that is it. It really, really is as simple as that to have your customer satisfaction surveys entered onto every single closed ticket notification. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.